Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and today we are going to discuss top end functions. So let's start. So we are going to create it on brand. So first of all, I'm going to take brand and then let's take sales because I'm going to build it on sales. Okay. And let's sort it descending. Okay. So let's start creating a measure. Okay. So we will call it top and brand and in this case we want top 10 so we can simply call it top 10. And what is the function? So the function is top n 10 uh, the table we say all item or we can use all selected depending on the need. Okay then what is sort is sales and descending. Okay so this is top n function. Now I'll show you a few things so that you know you don't commit those mistakes. So let's enter it and let me put this on visual top end. And it is error out. Why? Okay, the calculation dot multiple values because this is top end is not going to create a major. It's going to return you the values. It's, it's basically which we are going to use in a filter. Okay, so let's close this and let's modify this. So we the top 10 brands so it's returning us top 10 brands and it's, so now what we have to do let's use calculate and then we use sales and now let's do this okay so now what we are getting is let's me increase font a bit so that you can observe this. Okay, so now what you are seeing is one only one number is coming and this is nothing but the total of these first 10. Now, are we looking for top 10 brands or are we looking for total? If you are looking for total, this formula is absolutely fine. Remember this number when we do the next change, uh, you, you have to check the total. So this seems the top 10 total. Uh, we have to validate still. Uh, we can actually sum up and check or we'll do the next item. Now, so what we are going to do, we are going to do a small modification here uh, in our top 10 formula. So now what we are going to say, we are going to say no, fine, it is fine, but we also need it is correct on the brands. So now we go and add values and then we say item. And please remember if you are, uh, we have used item brand in top end, so we have to use values from, from item brand only. And then we close it and then let's see what change does it bring. Okay, only 10 values are coming and this total is from those 10 values and now what we'll do is we actually remove sales from here. Okay, so now this is the way you create a formula but uh, let's copy this table. Let's one more thing. Let's try it out and let's bring sales back here and remove top 10 and we already have this uh, brand filter if you look at the visual level filter so let's click here now in the brand we have this top end option and it's only available in the visual level filter not at the page level not at the report level this is top end and once you choose top end you can give 10 here now based on what based on sales again you have to drag a major out here and then you say apply filter same result so that's the major this is the filter visual level filter any one of these you can try it out when you need top 10 uh, do let us know what else you want to see in power bi subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new videos thanks for watching this video thank you